Ragdoll physics in games have been around for quite some time. What I noticed is that very small number of games approach sound design for this feature with detail. There is of course a very good reason for that and in this video we are going to explore different problems and solutions. So here is what we are trying to achieve. As you can see, uh, it's not ideal and that's the, that's the case with this system. Uh, with ragdolls you must make a compromise. Okay, we can lower the hit sensitivity even further. Uh, the lower the number is, uh, the more sensitive uh, these dolls become. So this is the problem with uh, ragdoll physics. Okay, but if we increase the sensitivity too much, then we will detect only the uh, certain events. So a lot of these are ignored. And let's hear the sources first. Okay, so those are the various drops and in here we have four layers that are played uh, uh, in a certain way, but uh, let's first hear the elements. So we have drop hard, we have drop medium, and we have drop soft. And besides that we have gore blend container which has hit random container. And splash them. Okay, so these are just the sources. These are not the, the containers that are actually used in the project. So this was just uh, so you can quickly hear everything I implemented over here in Wise project. And these are actual the actual uh, sources that are being used. So we have an event, one event, various drops, which triggers various drops and. Uh, guts and bones. Uh, it's called various drops because I added this later. But we basically trigger both, both of these. Let's see, inside of various drops we have RTPC. Uh, the RTPC is actually uh, called the drop intensity and it's a number that goes from 0 to 100. So the lower the intensity, the, lo the, more, uh, the more low pass filter is working. It's simple, uh, nothing special. Okay, so for the guts and bones, we have a more, slightly more complex situation. We have uh, blend tracks. So let's hear first uh, the upper track, which is which has the crossfade between drop, medium, and hard. Okay, and let's mute, uh, unmute this and just solo the gore. And if we, uh, st uh, so over here we don't hear the gore sounds, but if uh, intensity goes over 28 or somewhere around 30, we start hearing gore sounds, so blood and guts and etc. And together, uh, these are uh, these sound like this. Uh, 
in order for Ragdoll to create heat events, you need to select these parts of the physics asset of the skeleton and uh, you need to activate a simulation generates hits events. So these are the parts, the chest, stomach, the legs are ignored, and feet, feet, both feet and both hands. And this is the main logic behind this. So let's print all hits. So these are the numbers. So these are all event, all hit events that are generated. So there's there's still a lot of them, even though we uh, didn't include all parts of the body for for hitting. Uh, so we have a mat, uh, some kind of mat over here, simple mat, which normalizes the range. Uh, so we can set the RTPC between uh, zero and one hundred. And if you look back in device, these are the values. So we are hitting the range between. 16 and 61, 36, 97. Here's the problem. Let's mute the complete uh, gore and bones. And if I turn off the limit sound instances. So right now I uh, deleted the RTPC uh, uh, for various drops around the container. And the problem is uh, if sensitivity's uh, threshold is too high, we get only certain events, so almost nothing is triggered. And this is not what we are looking for, so we want uh, a little bit more detail than this. And as we lower the, the bar down, now it's getting crazy. We don't want this to happen because my my uh, Unreal will crash completely. Uh, so we need to find an uh, optimal value and uh, by playing around with it I found around 2500 2, or 3000 somewhere I'm satisfied. This is the, a good compromise of details and synchronicity. When these are turned on we have a safety mechanism so even if events go through like this let's go down to so even though events are going through over here uh probably we can't hear them because they are being uh controlled with the rtpc so this is one safety measure and another one is uh, to have priorities uh, over here it's playback limit so we have uh, seven instances per game object so and we are killing voice and discarding the newest instance so this is the setup i am satisfied with so this sounds cool for me to me and now when we when we have this setup i think we are ready to add more elements uh, more gore and bone crunching elements of course and let's now hear it So it's not perfect, but it's it's going towards it. Let's try a more sensitive uh, solution. Right now it's too sensitive, so too many players are playing. So we hear gore elements just sometimes. And if we increase the hit sensitivity value, so it's uh, uh, trash is lower. So now we hear more, more of these. So it's not so synchronous, but it's juicy. So we don't have too many detail. And this is something that I believe could, could be good for any kind of game that has bodies flying around. This could be improved. So let's go lower, like for, for, for one. 4500 so it's something to, to be tweaked and uh, tuned but I think there could be uh, there can be some good compromise so for me this is something that sounds cool 
I think that's it. It needs to be tweaked, but this is the basic idea. I really believe that this can be done properly in certain games, and computers are more powerful these days, and I think that this can be implemented in some optimal range where we don't generate too many of these events. And with that said, let's have some fun now. That's it for today, thank you for watching, please like and subscribe if you like the content and I'll make sure to continue in this direction.